All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. I've wanted to talk about this for a couple of weeks now, but I've been putting it off. This is activated charcoal. I've talked about this in prior videos. I'm gonna do my best to remember to link in the description box prior videos where I've talked about activated charcoal and its large list of benefits. This is an amazing substance right here, you guys. You can also use this, a lot of people don't know this, you can use this to whiten your teeth. So what you do is you get an electric toothbrush. You want to have white teeth. You use an electric toothbrush. And here's the thing, guys. Brief little uh, tip here. If you have social anxiety and you don't clean your mouth, like there's a link between having a clean mouth and social anxiety. I know that sounds crazy, but when your teeth are white, when your breath doesn't smell like shit, unconsciously, you're not going to be dragged down by that. Does that make sense? Like when you have really yellow teeth and your breath stinks, people don't want to talk to you. So clean your mouth out. I'm not saying that that's going to be some just instant fix to your social anxiety, but when the portal used to communicate is clean, it helps massively, right? So what you do is you, you get an electric toothbrush and you use a quality uh, natural toothpaste like Aromir, an Ayurvedic toothpaste. You put some toothpaste on the end of the toothbrush and you dip it in activated charcoal. And this stuff will whiten your teeth very quickly. Another thing that works wonders, let me see if I have some in the cat, uh, the spice cabinet. Another thing that works wonders folks for whitening teeth. I don't, I think I'm out is turmeric, but turmeric will stain things. You get it on a white t-shirt, that t-shirt's probably, you're never going to get those stains out. So it sounds kind of contradictive that something that would stain things would clean your teeth out or make your teeth white. But activated charcoal and turmeric, these will whiten your teeth rapidly. So turmeric works better than activated charcoal for cleaning your teeth. It just does. I've done this for years. Wow, does that work wonders. But activated charcoal, you guys, to get away from the whole toothbrush talk, the mouth talk, this stuff can absorb thousands of times its weight. Thousands of times its weight. And it not only absorbs with a B, but look at that. It adsorbs. Where, where was that? Yeah, see how it says adsorption? Adsorption is different than absorption. Adsorption is when a compound can bind to toxicity and hold on to it so that the toxicity stays stuck to the, the constituent so that it can then be eliminated out of the system. Does that make sense? Adsorption is much different than absorption. So this is coconut activated charcoal from Country Life. I really like this brand. This was kind of a ripoff though at Sprouts. A while ago, I needed some activated charcoal for a kind of small emergency, and I had to run to um, Sprouts Farmer's Market, and this is the only one that they had left in stock. It was like $12.99 for 40 capsules. Activated charcoal, I suggest if you're going to be, I suggest buying it in powder, bulk powder form that's not in capsules. You're going to get a hell of a lot more for your money, and it's going to last a lot longer. So we live in a toxic world. Our bodies absorb those toxins, guys, from all the aerosolized particulate via aluminum, barium, strontium, mylar fibers, chaff, all the stuff in the dirty tap water, right? All the chlorine, the chloramines, the disinfectant byproducts, the algicides, the cobalts, all the preservatives in the glyphosate and the foods that people eat. That stuff gets stuck in your system, guys. And activated charcoal is one of the pieces of the antidote. So this is a black substance. <clears throat> Let me show you here. These are in capsules. This is, I think, just under 500 milligrams for two capsules. Let's see here. Yeah, 520 milligrams. A lot of people are taking way more than that. They're taking like three to six grams at a time. I don't suggest doing that. The only time I suggest taking activated charcoal in huge quantities is to, you if, you know, you, you ate something that was poisoning your system. This stuff can actually get rid of the, it can bind to the toxicity. 
it's an antidote. And I believe they still use this in the emergency room. Uh, if someone took a bunch of pills, for instance, they'll pump you full of activated charcoal. The activated charcoal liquid adsorbs to, for instance, the opiate. It, and because it adsorbs it, it allows it to get kicked out of the system without killing your monkey ass. So I'm not in any way, shape, or form saying that you can just do whatever you want and eat whatever you want and then just have activated charcoal around to save you. No, you need to be responsible. Stop putting poisons into your system. This, however, is a godsend in this toxic world that we live in. Activated charcoal, if taken infrequently, which is how I suggest using it, you don't want to use this every day, guys. Activated charcoal, when taken infrequently, will actually promote digestion. This is actually a rather strong laxative if taken infrequently. You'd be surprised at what you can kick out of your system just by taking two of these capsules, 520 milligrams, on an empty stomach with a big 12 ounce thing of water or 16 ounces of water. 12 hours later, you're gonna be on the toilet. <clears throat> and your stomach's gonna flatten out from this too because this gets rid of bloating, guys, it just does. You have intestinal gas, activated charcoal is gonna be one of your best friends. There's a good chance if you have gas, you're eating the wrong foods. You need a digestive enzyme if you have gas first and foremost. But you could also, you guys, have a bunch of parasites and microbes and nasty stuff in your alimentary tract, in your colon, and in your small intestine that's causing that gas. And the activated charcoal, because it can absorb and adsorb thousands of times its own weight, you can really mop up a lot of toxicity crap, etc., in your system by taking this, right? So with all of the aerosol, aerosolized particulate that we're breathing, with all of the nonsense in the tap water, we're breathing dirty air in our homes, etc. Many of us have eaten over 20 plus years of the standard American diet, which is high in glyphosate and other herbicide round, catch my drift. This is, in my opinion, a crucial protocol because we've eaten that stuff, because we're, our body is taking on the load of the toxic world that we're living in. So again, I don't wanna get into some huge explanation on how this works. It works largely by adsorption and absorption. It absorbs and adsorbs thousands of times its weight. It goes through your alimentary tract and binds to things. Then you can kick it out, but it also can bind to good things, guys. So you wanna make sure to take this properly. I take this once a week on Sundays. I wake up, I take two to four capsules, drink it down with 12 to 16 ounces of clean water, and that's it. This will make your stomach flatter. This will get rid of intestinal gas that's creating pressure that's causing your stomach to dunlap over your belt. Catch my drift? You'll also, at least I do, feel incredible when you take activated charcoal properly because it's helping your body eliminate poisons that it's stored, toxins that it's stored. Activated charcoal can bind and remove to herbicide, glyphosate, etc. Our bodies have a lot of toxicity in them from years of living in this insane world where just by default, Breathing the air is toxic. What are you talking about, sacred serpent? You're almost you're always promoting this scary message. No, I'm promoting the truth. And there are antidotes to the toxicity, this being one of them. I will probably take two capsules to I'll probably take 500 milligrams to a gram of activated coconut charcoal once a week for the rest of my life, simply because I know that the body needs some degree of assistance while living here in the underworld. Some people have heard me talk about activated charcoal in the past, and they say, what about bentonite clay? What about things like that? Can I use that instead? I don't suggest using bentonite clay, ever, actually. I think this is a much safer and efficacious product. I just do. We've talked about the dangers of bentonite clay in prior videos. Another great thing, folks, to take regularly is spirulina because spirulina arthrospirus platensis 
binds to mercury. It gets rid of heavy metals out of your system very rapidly. And I don't need to hear any crap from people. Oh, but it's a plant protein and uh, I don't care. That is a powerful plant protein and it's really not even that high in protein, you guys. I think a, I think a tablespoon or two only has three grams of protein. Everyone's like, oh, but it also has uh, vitamin, uh, vitamin B12. It's a really good B12 supplement. No, it's not. It has a pseudocobalamin. It's a non-digestible form of B12. So the only reason I take spirulina at this point is for the chlorophyll and it's anti-metal or it's detox, it's metal detox capabilities. It can get rid of mercury out of your system in a very short period of time and other metals, etc. So I take this almost daily, but I always take activated charcoal once a week. You don't need it every day, you guys. Slow and steady wins the race. If you take too much activated charcoal, it'll actually plug you up. It'll make you constipated. Your body just needs small traces of this. And these people who are taking five to 10 grams at a time, what are you thinking? You always want to find the smallest dose that works and stay on that. So this is the Country Life Activated Charcoal. 260 milligrams per capsule, certified gluten-free, 40 vegan capsules. Let me show you what's on the back here. Adults, let me see if I can read that. It's kind of hard to read it through the viewfinder. Adults take two capsules daily as needed. Take at least one hour after medications or other dietary supplements. Again, you guys, if you take this with stuff, it's just gonna to bind to what you take it with and you're not gonna absorb it. This needs to be taken by itself and by itself only with quality water. Another thing that you can take this with, so I take that back, you can take it with certain things. If you take this with five grams of psyllium, the psyllium will expand in the water that you mix it with and it'll become a gel. And that gel will transit through the digestive system slower and act like a broom. It can be very beneficial to take activated charcoal with psyllium. I'm out of psyllium right now, but in the future I'll make a video showing how to make that potion. That's probably the only thing I suggest taking charcoal with. And if you've never done this before, I suggest first and foremost, taking it without psyllium. You know, right now, fiber is being demonized. And I understand why. Certain people need to stay away from fiber. These are like little glass shards that can do serious damage in your digestive system if your digestive system is all out of whack. But fiber mixed with charcoal, holy shit, can that be a powerful detox. And I still eat fiber. I'm not falling for this whole fibers demonic. It needs to be avoided at all times for certain people, absolutely. But I'm consuming fruit fibers. And you know what? If someone wants to tell me that these are hybridized man-made fruits, I, I, I don't care at this point. I don't. These hydrate me and give me the energy needed so that I can get my work done. You know, luckily, I have access to real fruit, I'll show you, and not just hybridized fruit. You know, and for people who want to say that, oh, the fruit's hybridized, you know, blah, blah, blah. So are the meats that you're eating, guys. You really think the cows that you're eating are the same genetic line that we, our ancestors had access to thousands of years ago? Please. You do the best with what you can or with what you've got. So in about a week, these will start be start being ready to consume. I am so excited for this. This apple tree is a death to fire. It's rotten down in the middle. We've had to support it with these supports. But even though it should have been dead years ago, it continues to produce massive amounts of fruit. So there's thousands probably of apples that this thing's gonna produce. These are green apples. I'm gonna ferment a bunch of them and I'm also gonna stew a bunch of them and I'm gonna eat a bunch of them raw. These apples are very pro-detox. In fact, <laughs> I've done this myself and I've had friends do this as well because they didn't believe me. If you take, let me clean my screen off. See if that's any better. If you take five of these mature apples, once they get big and juice them and drink them out on an empty stomach, 
there's a good chance you're gonna throw up. This stuff really agitates and promotes detox in the digestive system. So what I've done over the years is I just take one or two at a time and juice them. And then over a period of time, I can increase my amount. And the, the stuff is just in full of energy. When you pull, pull fruit right off the, the tree or the vine, it has a much different effect on you than when you buy fruit from the store that's been picked sometimes weeks ago, right? And ripened with certain gases. This is a mess that we're dealing with here, you guys. So I look at this tree. This is gonna be my carbohydrate source for probably the next month. And the pictures, the videos do not do this justice. This tree is very special. There's a special place in my heart for this tree. But to stay on point. No, oh, Luna's up. I'm gonna have to get going, you guys. She's got a hurt wrist and she needs help up. But activated charcoal, links in the description box below. Two capsules, 500 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams once a week on an empty stomach while you're fasted. Drink 12 to 16 ounces of water, preferably reverse osmosis water that's been restructured and or distilled water. Peace be with you.